Good morning, folks. This is Naeem Asim, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. And today is Friday, and happy Friday to you, folks. In our today's technical analysis segment, I'm going to talk about the big tech sell-off that we are really experiencing in the stock market. And I'm speaking of this coronavirus stock market rally that formed a trough back in March this year. But now, more recently, this stock market rally has come into a major trouble. It's facing quite a lot of different challenges. So let's have a look at some of those challenges with respect to support and resistance levels. Before we do that, as always, it is important for us to go through this slide of disclaimers and risk warnings. Anything which we'll be discussing in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own advisors. Now, as always, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform. This can be downloaded from our website, avatrade.com. And folks, I'm going to focus on the NASDAQ index, which is also known as the tech savvy index. We all know one thing for certain that the tech rally that we have seen is primarily led by a bunch of few stocks. To name some, these are Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Tesla not your average day stock, but which is classified as a tech stock. Nonetheless, the stock is up well over 200% despite the massive sell-off that we've seen. And then we have Facebook uh, and uh, Microsoft and several other names within, within this, uh, uh, this uh, tech area, right? So, of course, Google and Apple, they perform really well. And uh, because of that, we've seen this massive rally. The question is, that why this tech sell-off is really happening. And more importantly, the question which, which is on every trader's lips is that where do we go from here? Well, the sell-off happened because we went too far and too quick. And that is why this retracement was very much due. But the thing which is really concerning and is really troubling me for the last few days is the price battle with its 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is your pink, uh, sorry, this purple uh, line. This is your simple 50-day moving average followed by your 100 and 200 day simple moving average. The price for the last few days, especially this week, has been in, there, there has been a lot of indecisive price action but, uh, but with respect to its 50-day moving average. We've been closing down, closing up, closing down, and then now back up. Now, because the price is consolidating for such a long time near its 50-day smooth moving average, the chances are that we may break to the downside. But we have to assess things a little bit more closely. And that assessment can only come when we start paying attention to the highs and lows that we have formed this week. So, for instance, this is the entire trading range for, of, of, the, of this candle. And for the last three days, we have been trading very much within these, uh, this trading range, which was formed on the 8th of September, right? Which uh, 8th of September being your, uh, uh, your, your Monday. And then on Tuesday, you know, we were trading within that. Wednesday, again, uh, and, and sorry, I think 8th was your uh, perhaps Tuesday. So, yes, 8th eighth, eighth was Tuesday. So, uh, since Tuesday, we've been trading within the highs and lows of this candle. But on Wednesday, we formed a lower low and a lower high. But on Thursday, which was yesterday, we formed a lower high and but pretty much the same high as Tuesday, but a higher high as compared to Wednesday. So what does that mean? The meaning is if this low, which is yesterday's low, holds and the price doesn't fall below yesterday's lows, and I'm speaking again about the NASDAQ index daily price action, if the price doesn't fall below yesterday's low, then we can say that this price is going to continue its journey to the upside. If we break below this low, which is yesterday's low, the next low is going to be on for Wednesday and then followed by that, it is going to be Tuesday's low. Once we've broken the Tuesday's low, folks, the next area of support is really going to be near its 100-day moving average. Now, for the time being, we can clearly see that the price 
is looking at this support area because it is this support area or let's just say this support zone if i just put another line right over here that the price had seen a massive rally to the upside and this support zone was basically the previous resistance zone remember this was resistance the price came into this resistance zone again and then the sell-off happened then again the price came into this resistance zone price started to consolidate move back up back came back again into this support zone and then massive rally now this support zone that we're really looking at was has been tested again on tuesday the price hasn't penetrated really deep into this this support zone because they the lower line of this support zone is 10838 so this support zone can be tested again but the likely chances are for the price if it breaks this low the price may come close to these support area or let's just say near its 200 day moving average which is going to be the area of support is going to be just over here as i formed it on the chart now for the clarification purposes i'm going to change all these support zones uh from from red to green why because when i look at the chart when i look at the green line i'll know that this is my support zone when i look at the red line i'll know that this is my support zone now in order to change the color we just right click we go into horizontal properties and then from there we change the color i'm going to do the same over here properties again and then changing the color from red to green so folks let's keep monitoring the price action going into next week and then see how the price performs with respect to the two different support zones that we have that's all for today happy trading and i'll see you guys next time